Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial about email storage limitations and some of the ways we can deal with the space constraints that we have. And before discussing how we can deal with some of these constraints, allow me to briefly mention why we have some of them. Basically, if we didn't have the constraints, users would probably allow their email to just kind of fill up and fill up and we'd run out of space pretty quickly. If we didn't manage the space we have for email, then we'd continually have to purchase and add storage and that really just doesn't make a lot of sense, it's not very cost effective, and our email services would also become slower and less efficient over time. So the first thing we should be aware of in order to deal with these uh, storage limitations is recognizing what kind of messages take up a lot of space, such as attachments with graphics, pictures, images, attachments with music, voicemail messages, these really take up quite a bit of space. For example, here we see a voicemail message and we see over here that it takes up 176 kilobytes as opposed to another message which takes up uh, ver much less space. For example, here's another one which has even a small image but takes up only three kilobytes. So voicemail messages are very large. Another type of email attachment that can take up a lot of space is video, which consists obviously of music and um, video, uh, visual images, and they can be very big. In addition to that, some email messages may not have an attachment, but will have a lot of graphics embedded in them, and they can also take up quite a bit of space as well. So one of the first things we can do to help prevent running out of space is to be sure to copy large files off to our network drive and delete the original email message. So we can actually open up an attachment, do a save as, and save it off somewhere, or we can save the entire email message uh, out to our network drive where it can then be opened up individually later and delete the original message. For example, here I have an email message with a lot of attachments and I could open up an individual attachment and do a file save as and save it out to my network drive and then go through and open up the rest of the attachments and save them individually if I wish to. But I could also click on the globe here and do a save as and then save these out onto the folder of choice and it would save the entire email message with the attachments which I could then open up later and I can then go ahead and delete this original message from my email box and save a lot of space. Another way to save space is to delete unnecessary or duplicate messages. If uh, you, know, you get a message and it was just for informational purposes, you really don't feel you need to, see it, to keep a copy of it, go ahead and delete it. And if you get a message, uh, for example, uh, something with a large attachment that was being distributed to a bunch of people just to make you aware of it, and you know where the original copy of those files is stored, you can go ahead and just delete the copy that you got because you really don't need it. Now in the event that we run out of space, which we would know because we get an email message from the system administrator telling us that we're about to run out of space, we'll need to delete some files and here's a technique that can help us to find large files or groups of files to delete. The first thing we should really do is empty our deleted items folder and basically if we mouse over it and right click on that deleted items folder we can choose empty deleted items folder and that will go ahead and purge any deleted items that haven't actually been completely removed from our email system. So that's step one. The next thing we can do to help us identify files to, uh, that we might want to get rid of and will help free up a lot of space is to sort messages within a folder by size. And you may find you have a couple really big attachments and by deleting them you instantly free up a good deal of space. And the technique for doing this is to open a folder, right click on the sort column and select size and then delete the messages. Allow me to illustrate. Here I have a folder with messages in it that is sorted by date order and if I right click on this column here and choose size, it's now going to choose, uh, sort by size order. And I'm going to go ahead and move right up to the top and see that the largest files have sorted up to the top and here I see these files that it's classified as huge and others as very large and so on and if I delete some of those, maybe copy some of them off to the network and then delete them, I'm going to save a lot of space quickly. You can also sort by from and by date and other things that can help us isolate groups of files that we might want to get rid of and free up space. Now be sure to empty your deleted items folder again after you've done this. This concludes this brief tutorial. Thank you very much.